So this video is on simultaneous equations. Um, simultaneous equations will definitely come up in your exam. This is a junior cert style simultaneous equation. There are two unknowns here, an x and a y. In a leaving cert exam, you're more typical to seeing three unknowns, an x, y, and a z maybe. But we're just going to start off with this one here, and this is just going to be mainly based around two variable equations for the junior cert. So this tells us, we one rule of thumb, sorry, first is this. If there are two unknowns, two variables, we need two equations, which we have here. What this means is there's a number that exists for x and a number that exists for y, that if you sub it into this equation, it works. But the same number for x and same number for y also solves this equation. So the method I'm going to use is an addition type method. What I'm looking to do is match up two terms by manipulating the equation and then literally cancelling out the two terms that match up and I'll have to make sure the signs are different. In this particular equation, it's already done for us. So when we would get to this stage, and normally wouldn't, we wouldn't get it this nice, but this is just the very first example. I have two more examples to go through where we have to manipulate them. Always label your two equations, A and B, like this. So we can see equation A and equation B. Now, what I want you to spot is that I have a plus Y and a minus Y. So plus Y, minus Y, well, they simply cancel. 2X plus 3X, that gives us a 5x and an 8 and a 2 that gives us a 10. So 5x equal to 10 that means x is equal to 10 divided by 5 when we bring this guy across that means x must be equal to 2. So we've solved for x equal to 2 and if you've watched more of my videos I like to put a, a box around a solution I get. So that means x is going to be equal to 2 definitely. How do we solve for y? Well we put this value back into an original equation, okay? So what is an original equation? Well, that's an equation A or B. So let's just take B here, okay? Or say, take A. So A now is two times X, but of course we know what X is. X is now going to be two, remember? This should be x, but x is now 2, plus y is equal to 8. 2 times 2 is 4, plus y equals to 8. y is equal to 4, comes over here, he changes to a minus, and y is equal to 8 minus 4, which is 4. So, that's the very first question done. Now, as I said at the start of the video, it's not always going to be that easy. We're going to go on to ones where we have to manipulate the equation. So let's look at this one here. I have my equation a and b. Problem is, is that I yeah, have an x plus 2y and a 3x minus 5y. So none of the terms are matching up. So what can I do here to get, I only need to get one of the coefficients or one of the variable terms matching. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to multiply a, I'm going to say 3 times a. If I multiply a across by 3, that will give me a 3x which I need here but of course I have to multiply every term by that so 3 times a gives me this 3x plus 3 times 2y 6y equals and 3 times 12 36 b now still remains unchanged for the moment right 3x minus 5y equals to 3 now only thing is now with um, b is that I don't actually have they're the same sign, they need to be different signs in order to cancel. Like 3x and 3x is 6x, I want it to go to 0. So, what I'll do is I'll change the signs, all right? Okay, so let's change this to a minus, it means this goes to a plus, it means this goes to a minus. Okay, now 3x minus 3x gone, 6x, but now a plus 5y that gives me 11y. 36, but now minus 3 gives me a 33. So y must be equal to, this guy comes over under here, 33 over 11, y is equal to 3. Okay, so again, like the very first part, we put this back into an original equation. So let's rewrite a here, right? So a now is going to be x plus 2 times y, but now y course is 3 and that's equal to 
12. So x plus 2 times 3 is 6 is equal to 12. x then is equal to 12. He comes over minus 6, which is equal to 6. So x is equal to 6. OK, that's the second type done. Now, the final part, or the final type of example I'm going to do in this video. I may do others where we had to do a couple of manipulations, but let's go here for a minute, OK? Now, fractions. So one that we see a lot of mistakes made in, right? Again, it looks hard. What I'm going to suggest you to do, if you're looking at this video because you're finding these difficult, yeah, people will find the lowest common denominator, but I'm going to give you something that may be easier, but slightly longer, but not that much longer, maybe an extra 30 seconds, but it will work every time for you. I want to take, I, want, I first off want to get rid of this fraction here with the three underneath. So what I'm actually going to do first is I'm going to do three times B. Okay, that's three times X over three minus three times Y over four equals to three times two, three times everything. Those trees go. Now I'm left with X minus. That's 3Y on top, but I still have a 4 on the bottom. Equals to 6. Yeah? Then I'm going to multiply across by 4 to get rid of this fraction. So that's going to be 4 times X minus 4 times 3Y over 4 equals to 4 times 6. Okay? 4 times X is 4X. These fours now cancel, minus 3y, and 4 times 6 is now 24. So I've taken b from this down to an a, a equation that we can use that has no fractions in it. So let's write them over here. So a remained unchanged, so that's still 2x minus y is equal to 18. But our new b is actually 4x minus 3y equals to 24. Now, it becomes one of the other problems, all right? How can we match this up? Well, we can either multiply the top line by two, that'll give us the 4x we need here, or multiply it by three, and that'll give us the 3y we need here. So let's just do the first one I said. Let's just rewrite this stuff now with two times a. So two times a gives me 2 times 2x, which is 4x, 2 times minus y, which is minus 2y, and 2 times 18, which is 36. Okay? And let's write my b underneath. So my b now is still 4x minus 3y equals to 24. But of course, to cancel these terms, the signs need to be different, so I need to make this one a minus. This one changes to a plus. This one changes to a minus. 4x minus 4x, gone. Minus 2y plus 3y. So it goes from minus 2 and then plus 3. That gives us plus 1y, or just y if you like. 36 minus 24, that's 12. So I actually have, straight off the bat, y. What do I do with this y? I put it back into an original equation, maybe a up here. So when I rewrite a, I'll rewrite them as this. 2 times x minus now what's y he comes in here is 12 equals to 18. that's 2x minus 12 equals to 18. i always like to write when i sub in variables in brackets just in case there's different signs we don't make a mistake 2x now he comes over is equal to 18 plus 12 which is equal to 30 so actually 2x is equal to 30 meaning x must be equal to 15 when he comes down underneath. So we have it. x is equal to 15 and y is equal to 12. Yeah, this is a long way of doing it to get rid of these fractions, but it's a safe way of doing it, and that's the way I look at it. Just one um, final example, just in case you're practicing some of these and you get something like this. So what I've shown you so far, we just have to multiply in uh, one line to match up a coefficient. But we can kind of see here that once we get to here, yeah, there's actually nothing we can do. If we multiply, what can multiply three by to get up to four? Nothing. And similarly, four to get to three or two minus two to get to three or vice versa. So what we actually have to do here is to multiply both equations. So what I want you to do for these type of ones is this. P 
pick one coefficient. I'm going to pick the x terms here. I'm going to multiply a by whatever the coefficient is with b. And I'm going to multiply b by whatever the coefficient is with a. What do I mean by that? Well, the coefficient with x and b is 4. I'm going to multiply a by that. So I'm going to say 4 times a. And then I'm going to multiply b by the coefficient with a, which is 3 times b. So I have to multiply both equations at the same time here. 4 times a, that gives me 12x. 4 times minus 2, minus 8y. And then 4 times 17, so 40 and 28, 68. Okay, now 3 times b. 3 times 4 is 12x. 3 times 3 is 9y. And 3 times 0 is just 0. Now, we now have our matching coefficients. And all you have to do now is change your signs and not to do to zero and we're off just like the last problems i'll put the answer to this down in the description of the video but i'll leave you try it yourself okay